My name is Robert, and I am the Information Technology Supervisor for the Katadi Ronit Park Unified School District. I wanted to reach out to our district families to provide some information and updates regarding education technology and its use at our schools as we prepare to start this school year via distance learning. First of all, the IT department would like to thank all of you for the support and patience we received last spring when we had to make a mad dash switch over to distance learning. Our district was able to provide Chromebook devices and Wi-Fi hotspots to families that requested them, and we did so in as safe a manner as possible. That being said, some of those lines during device pickups were very long and some households with multiple students had to make do with their students sharing devices. Fortunately, we have managed to come up with some new strategies and procedures that will increase the efficiency of this year's device distribution greatly. On that note, let's talk about the device plan for this year. This year, the school district will be providing one-to-one -one technology devices for all students from TK to 12th grade. The type of device your student is assigned will be based on grade level. Grades TK and Kindergarten will be assigned iPads and grades 1 through 12 will be assigned HP Chromebook devices. Our special education families will be assigned a device type based on the recommendation of their teacher. We expect most special education students to be assigned iPads for their use. All devices will have strict web content filtering, even when used at home on your personal Wi-Fi network and we'll also have updates and instructional resources such as apps and software extensions and things like that pushed to them based on the needs of your student's school site and classroom. We will also once again provide Wi-Fi hotspots to families with no internet connectivity at home. Please note that these devices are still kind of a last resort for families without any other means of connectivity and we highly recommend visiting www.internetessentials.com and signing up for high-speed internet service at the incredible price of $10 a month. If your student qualifies for a free or reduced lunch through our district, then you already qualify for that rate. It even includes a Wi-Fi router for your home. Device distribution dates and times will be communicated to you by your student's school directly. Because devices are now pre-assigned, you simply need to stop by the IT table on your scheduled pickup day, provide your student's name and grade, and we will hand you a freshly disinfected device. This will be a very streamlined process and we do not expect long wait times. We do require that you wear a mask and maintain social distancing guidelines when arriving to your child's school for pickup. We also understand that some families would prefer to provide their own technology devices for their children. So we have created an opt-out form that your child's school can provide for you to sign. If you feel a school assigned device will be redundant or just collect dust in your home, please feel free to opt out. We recommend reaching out to your child's teacher or school to ensure that the technology you have purchased for your student's use will be compatible with the instruction platforms that will be used in the classroom. As a baseline, any fifth generation iPad or newer and any Chromebook purchased since 2016 or so should be fully compatible. PC and Mac computers should also have no issues as long as they are outfitted with a camera and microphone for the virtual class meetings. On the subject of virtual class meetings, the school district has decided to use the Google Meet video conferencing platform for student instruction. This decision is twofold. First, all students are currently assigned Google Apps for Education accounts for teacher communications, Google Classroom, Google Drive, and other app access. It makes sense to leverage the suite of apps that our students are already familiar with and use the least amount of different platforms as possible. The second reason is security. Your child's data privacy and security is always our top priority, especially in IT. With Google Meet, we can limit access to these virtual classes and their recordings to members within our own school district only. The Google Apps for Education suite is also fully compliant with the Federal Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, or COPA, and the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, FERPA. Google Meet is platform agnostic and works on any device with a web browser, camera, and microphone. We understand that this is a ton of information all at once and that you may have more questions. To assist with this, we will be creating and releasing parent tutorial videos for Google Classroom, Google Meet, and other platforms in hopes of helping parents feel supported. You can find these tutorials by visiting our district website at www.crpusd.org and selecting the Distance Learning Resources option under the Parents and Student Resources tab on the top menu bar of the main page. We will also post these in the same location on each individual school website. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. 
I've been Robert from the CRP USDIT department, and I hope you and your child have a great start to the school year. Thank you.